Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is jumping fast into a new relationship overlooks the red flags. Now it's really easy to get excited about a new relationship because who doesn't want to have things go really fun and fast in the beginning because it just clicks. The trouble with this is you're not being realistic about, about what's really going on here. You're getting excited about the fact that you've met somebody that you're interested in. And how often does that happen today? We're all having so much trouble dating and meeting somebody because there's so many new things that we're all looking out for. There's a lot of red flags. But if you're not paying attention to them in the very beginning of meeting someone new, you're setting yourself up for something that might not work out down the road. You're not paying close enough attention to who that person really is. Because if you have this connection where there's a sexual chemistry and you're just super attracted to them, it's really hard to sort of push push that door closed a little bit and take your time getting to know them because you're so excited that you've met somebody this cool that you want to see them all the time. But if somebody wants to see you 24 seven in the very beginning, this is a bit of a warning sign because it's probably something that they do all the time. Now, I'm not saying that you can't meet somebody and connect really quickly, but it's still better if you slow down and look at them in all, all aspects of what's going on in their life and what's going on in your life. Because it's not always the perfect timing. Hey, I get it, it's, it's hard sometimes because when someone wants to see you 24 seven and, and you're excited about them as they are about you, it's really hard not to sort of give in, right? Because you think, well, maybe this one's different. Maybe this person really is true to who they say they are and, and the fact that they really like you. It takes two people to make a really great relationship. And it takes two people to pull the reins on, pull them in when something is moving too fast. Because when you jump in really quickly, you get all this excitement and these expectations come into play because it's so good all the time. So when something happens that's maybe a little bit out of character or maybe they didn't text you five times in one day and they usually do, you start questioning everything. And this is a big problem because when you start questioning everything that has been so perfect, you start getting into this doubting, but you're already connected with your heart. The big problem here is a lot of people truly do mean what they say in the beginning when they come in fast. They believe it because you're so cool and you are the person that they've been waiting for. So they think and you think the same thing. But anyone can be good for a short time. Anybody can put their best foot forward. And we all have that in us, which is a good thing. But it's not realistic to only have that sort of perfection and everything so smooth because life isn't like that 24 seven and full time. We all have to sit back and understand there's going to be times in our life where we have to deal with things. And is this new relationship going to be able to stand the test of time with that? You don't know that unless you sit back and slowly see who they are in lots of different circumstances. The, the big trouble with going in fast to a new relationship is unfortunately a lot of them end just as fast. Because as I said earlier, the expectations are already put out there because it's been so good. This can often happen when sex is introduced really quickly in your relationship because if it's fantastic between the sheets with the two of you, hey, that's a tough thing to let go of. And you want more of that. You want to keep going in that department, but then it becomes purely a sexual relationship, which is okay if you're not looking for a long-term commitment with somebody. But in the very beginning, you have to have a lot of other things too. Lust is amazing, but it doesn't necessarily stay in the relationship forever and ever and ever. You can still have make love with each other and have a good sexual connection, but it might not be that powerful chemistry that you had in the beginning. And this is something you have to be realistic about. So it's really important to be alert with everything that's going on in the first 
month or so of dating somebody, if they're talking really quickly about the future, they're full of compliments and, and all these things, it's really hard to stay on that pedestal that they've put you on. It's really tough because you're not always going to be perfect. You're going to have days where maybe you're feeling down or you've got things you're dealing with that take your mindset in a different direction. And this causes problems when everything goes so great and so fast in the beginning. Because as I said, it changes the dynamics of what you thought was there. And so a lot of people run in really fast and then they go, well, I screwed up on that one because it didn't work again. Well, the reason it didn't work is because you're not taking the time to really get to know them. And the disappointment that happens when everything isn't perfect comes into play and makes you say to yourself, okay, this isn't the right one. But the chances are it could very well be the right person, but you haven't taken the time to really get to know each other. Another thing, are they emotionally connected to you? Or is it just sort of a sexual thing? You wanna pay attention to all these, these things that make a relationship stand the test of time. Because as I said earlier, you can have this really lustful connection with someone, but there's so much more that goes into a long-term relationship. And you've come to this video because obviously that's what you want. You're also thinking, well, maybe I do fit into this category. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing all the right things when I meet somebody. Be the one to slow it down. You don't have to be play the games where, oh no, you know, I'm busy for two weeks. You just say, look, I've, I've got a couple things on this week. How about Thursday? See them once a week, maybe twice a week if there's something going on, but keep the mystery alive because you want to see each other again. Take the time to really get to know who they are inside and they need to see the same about you too. When you take your time in getting to know someone, your heart has time to trust the truth of what's really going on as well. Because you need that time to be able to look at them and say, okay, is this who they are? Is this all there is? You want to find out as much as you can about somebody if you're going to share your life with them. Jumping in, moving in together in the first couple of months, yes, it can work once in a while. But the chances of that happening are not really a good percentage long term take your time ask the right questions have some fun with them watch how they are with other people watch what they say and do actions and voice are really big and very important we all want that great chemistry and that is what keeps us coming back for more in the beginning, absolutely. And we all know that's true, and you can't pretend that's not going to be a part of the equation. But you also have to be very aware that lust can lead you down the wrong path as well. So once again, please take your time when you're first meeting somebody. Don't jump in on all fours and try and get something going here because it's just the most perfect person you've met in so long. If they're that great in the very beginning, they're worth the time that you invest in getting to know them. Thank you for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate if you could do so. Click like. Thanks so much. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.